Well, welcome to Western Pools, folks. We've been out today, haven't we? Doing a bit of filming on Belvedere Lake. And obviously, we have a good mate, Andrew Mann, sponsored by Western Pools. So, who better to come and empty them? To be fair, we've had a mega day, haven't we? Yeah, we've had a really good day. We, um, we went out about just doing like a simple pellet approach, just something really cheap and effective. We had a great day on the jigger. Yeah, one of Chuck, wasn't it, really? Yeah. Big F1s. Yeah, it was fantastic sport. And then we. And we finished up down the edge and just snared a <laughs> pile of beast sites to be there. So. Well, it must, one you had must have been, I think that common oh. was £12. Yeah, he was, a, he was, a, he was real wide f f fish he was. Like he was. It was massive. He was probably, like you said, £10, £12. Man. It was a unit. But do you f I know a lot of you guys probably do know who Andrew Mann is. Fantastic angler, got a brilliant record on, match, on the match circuit and this year has had a mega year. But I don't really know how it all started. I met Andy probably four or five years ago now, at yeah. Western Pools, fishing the festivals that me and Tom run here. And I just want to find out a bit more about his background, then sort of how he sort of got into fishing here at Western Pools. Where's it like, where did it start? Where did you actually learn, like when did you start fishing? So yeah, like I've, as you said, I've been coming here for a long time now. I've probably been coming here for probably almost 20 years. <laughs> Not giving too much That's away. That's like, yet. I was three years old when you started coming here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe it wasn't that long, maybe 15 years perhaps. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, I always started out, as most people, they usually have like a grandparent or some sort of parent or some kind of relation to fishing. Yeah. But yeah, my grandfather actually used to coach the Welsh junior team. Oh, really? So, yeah. I'm just actually watching a, a carp come in and eat them. <laughs> <laughs> I slurp and a bit off the top and bait them through it. Um, but yeah, my grandfather used to coach the Welsh junior team. Yes. So, yeah, I used to, like, on the weekends, I used to go and stay with him. Um, I wasn't really into fishing at the time then, so I'd just more go, uh, watch the junior trials. I, I, I actually met Mikey when he was a young lad then, and he was really good. Mike's son. Uh, Mikey, oh, Mikey Williams, Williams, Welsh lad. Oh, of course, yeah. Uh, obviously, he was trialling out for the Welsh team back then. Um, Who's older, you or Mikey? Mikey's a little bit older than me. Ah, I thought so, yeah. yeah. That makes Can sense. you tell? Yeah, yeah. I'm a young pub. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, um, I met him when I was oh, that big, but I had no interest in fishing and mm. I just wanted to run around the lakes and cause <laughs> yeah. that, to be honest with you. But, <laughs> yeah, t obviously, my old man took me fishing then when I was probably. I did. I did do it when I was younger. Do you mean like, a, like yeah, bits and bobs. Yeah, do good junior here and there. Just did some like junior matches at our local place, yeah, Cum Kellen. Brilliant fisheries. It's crazy fishing. It's like in the middle of like a, an estate. <laughs> right. But oh, it's, it's down in deep as dark as Wales. Oh yeah, it's right deepest part of the valley. Is it? It's, <laughs> it's, it's great fun, and they've just stocked. They were carp, and they're kind of wild and then all the other it's really good fun all right nice but um yeah uh i got into fishing with obviously like early teens did some local matches with the juniors quite enjoyed it to be fair yeah um i i as i was growing up but obviously i my aspiration wanted to be to fish for the junior welsh team uh, yeah so uh, I managed to get to do that when I was, I think I was 18. Our first World Championships in Belgium. Nice. Oh, that was been an experience. Yeah, it was a great experience to be fair. And I witnessed Callum Dix win his youth individual wow. World Championship. Uh, Matt yeah, Godfrey there that year as well? Yeah, and he actually won the Some under the best, 18s. No. And they, I, f I think they won, may have been silver. There's a team, right? Wow. You know? Brilliant. But, uh, Good memories then. Yeah, so did that for a couple of years. Gone to uh, Portugal, Italy. Oh, you did a few years. Yeah, it was a couple of years, like, so. But, uh, yeah, I'd, the other thing I was really good at as well. Well, I, I'm not saying I was good at fishing. Like, well, yeah, I, I just love playing rugby. Obviously, it's a big part of... Wales, do you know I mean? Welsh culture. Yeah, it's just Welsh culture, do you know what I mean? Go on the lads. Yeah. So we... Um, right, yeah, and you did that profession semi-professionally? Semi-professionally, yeah. So I got offered a semi-professional contract when I was 19. No surprise. Yeah, I've lost some size now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so I got offered a semi-professional contract when I was 19. Wow. Um, did that for a year, but I was a bit like... Didn't respect it enough. 
um, and I lost my position. Um, so yeah. I ended up going back playing rugby, uh, local. Um, I was earning a couple of quid, like, do you mean? But it was more just to be with the lads, have a few beers. Yeah, not as serious as Not as it? serious, do you mean? And obviously, yeah, it's just life takes its toll then. I was doing a bit of fishing, a bit of rugby, never took anything too serious. But then when I was, how old was I? Um, early 20s, I got offered a, yeah, I think it was early 20s. Got off a contract then with Newport, which I thought right, I've got to, I've got to try and like knuckle, give it a good knuckle, knuckle down. down. Cause it was a couple of pound to be in, yeah, yeah. but it's re- like it's really good level to play at as well. So did that for a few years. Nice. Been to Millennium Stadium, won the Welsh National Cup, like so. Fantastic. I've done everything I can in terms of semi-professional yeah. career. Do you know what I mean? But then obviously it got to a point where I was a bit like. I've done it for such a long time and I'd fell out of love with it a little yeah. bit. Yeah, um, I must take its toll on you a bit. Oh, some days, my, honestly, my body's in bits. Yeah. I have a job to put my socks on some days. For, <laughs> my missus is putting my socks on. Well, no, my missus, my wife is actually putting my socks on for me some Oh, days. God. Well, this is why fishing's such a more <laughs> pleasant and peaceful hobby that you've yeah, taken to. I think, I, but again, I think, I think you've still got to be <laughs> yeah, fit and do. strong. Like we've, we've seen today, it, it's like tug of war against everybody. Yeah, bags, definitely. You know, we've, had, we've had fun trying to pull some mm. of the F1s out of there, haven't we? And then snaring some beasts in the edge. You've got to be... Yeah, about definitely. You, no it? doubt about that. But, uh, so then when did the fishing start becoming more of a priority? Um, since I finished playing rugby, really. Yeah. It's only, like, probably, like, the last 12 months. Um, it's been, like, right, just yeah, I'd knuckled say, down. And, even before that, though, you always were having good results over the last three or four years when you were still... You know, when you were playing rugby. Yeah, like I won the Welsh individual title, Welsh national twice. I'd done a year when I was, I think I was, oh, sorry, I, the first time I won it was up in Hampton Springs. Ah. Um, and I think, I think I'm still the youngest, like. Ever winner? Yeah, for uh, as in senior age category. I think I was yeah. either 18 or 19. So I won that up there. And then I won it here. I think it was around about 24, so... Was that what, did you say you had a little barble then? Yeah, so it was over on the strat, strat and pool. <laughs> Leg uh, just behind us here. And um, if I remember right, yeah, about 150, 150 odd pound, but I, I reckon 100 pound of that must have been barble. And they mega, were all like, mega fishing. Yeah, like pound, two pound fish. Like mega, so. mega fishing. And more recently, this, this, well, the last 12 months, especially when you say you took it more serious, you had a mega year. Qualify for two finals. Yeah. Not the big, big money ones, but no. still very respectable yeah, places. Still respectful. Fish Midlands and Fish South. Yeah, fingers crossed. We can, uh, well, to, to be honest, you like I'm just really proud to, well, get over the line and get into those finals. You know what I mean, mega so mate. So you never know on the day if you get given half a draw or to a good draw, it could could swing our way a bit of, a bit of a rub of the green, you know. Yeah, I mean, <clears> fantastic <throat> angler, someone I've respected for a long time. I do not want to be next peg to you, Andy, on any venue, <laughs> never mind this place. Battle, Andy knows Western Pools and he's smashed me up many, many a time. <laughs> and one of the recent matches, which links nicely with the qualification there, was that you actually qualified for me, didn't you? Yeah, so for the Fish Midlands, we actually, um, on the Shoot. day, there was Canal Lake, Stretton, Stretton and Bell were a split one section, section, and then Canal was one section. And I drew a screamer, to be honest with you. I drew Stretton 40. Got to draw him. Yeah, and I, I got to give credit where due. Chris Lane, um, he helped me out with some information on on the morning before draw. He said, "Look, he said I drew that uh, two weeks ago. Caught a boatload of fish down the edge." So he showed me exactly where the fish there was. A yes. bit of a shallow edge there. Yeah. And um, to be fair, caught some eye the early part of the match, but we was all sort of like it, it was nip and tuck between a few of us on the lake. Do you mean? But it was only until I went in that edge then. Annihilated it. Well, I didn't annihilate it, I just pulled away quietly. Yeah, like, some big, you know. some Stretton's full of big carp. I imagine you got stuck into some of them. Well, didn't I didn't you? have no carp, but it was all, what? yeah, it was just all them, you know, them quality F1s. All the big F1s that yeah. live in there. Wow. It was, it was loads of, loads of bites. Do you mean it was. What were you doing, potting ground bait? Potting ground bait, dead maggots, just usual. Do you mean it was a shallow <laughs> edge? It was very similar to what we've done today. Nice. Just, I think it was, I think that was about two foot, so it was just yeah. like, over wetted ground, but a couple of dead reds run through it. 
big bunch of dads on the uck and jobs are good on. Awesome fishing. Well, it's been a pleasure fishing, well, watching you fish today, to be fair. Loads of good stuff to, to watch coming very soon. Yeah. Thank you very much. Nice one. Thank you for having me. And I just, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Bet you thought that would end, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Not, is it? No. They can get more if they want it, can't they? Yeah, they can. They can go. Where can they go? You can go to the uh, Catch More Media channel membership area, uh, can't they? They can. How much does it cost? Four ninety nine. How much do they get? A lot. A lot. How much Six, you got there? 60 videos. And 16 live matches? Yeah. Check it out, folks. So if you want even more from us, get over there. <laughs> <laughs>